When the pH is 7, then it's a case where the sample is neither acids nor base. But less than 7, it's an acid, we say. More than 7, it's a base all the way. We talked mostly about acid so far, a bit about base as well. But we actually haven't really defined pH yet, what pH actually is. This is what this video is all about, a quick definition of pH. The point itself says identify pH as minus log of the hydrogen concentration and explain that a change in pH of 1 means a tenfold change in the concentration of hydrogen. So the pH is actually, that's what pH is, minus log to the power of 10 of the concentration of hydrogen ions. And obviously we've got here we've got pH of 7, we know 7 is about neutral, we know 0 means it's quite acidic, and 14 is quite basic, and everything in between is either weakly acidic or somewhat strong acidic or weakly basic or somewhat strongly basic. Now when it comes to what that, all that means, is if for example we look at the pH of 0, what that actually means is if we type in minus log and we put a 1 as our concentration into our calculator, so minus log to the power of 1, and that gives us a pH of, that gives us a, a value of 0, so that's 0 pH. If we were to type in minus log of the power of 0 0.1, we'll actually get, we type that same thing into a calculator, so now our concentration is, it was 1 originally, now we do 0 0.1, what you'll find is we actually go from pH of 0 to pH of 1. So we've increased our pH by 1, but our actual hydrogen concentration has gone down. So an increase in the hydrogen concentration, so here we, got, we went from 0 0.1, that was a pH of 1, we went to 1, that was a pH of 0. So an increase in the hydrogen concentration means a decrease in the pH. So the more hydrogen ions we have in our solution, the lower the pH. And also, what was important was we went from 0 pH to 1 pH, and that actually goes from 1, so we had 1 was 0, and 0 0.1 gave us a pH of 1. That's a tenfold difference, right? So I mean, 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 that would be doubling it. But we went from 0 0.1 to 1 in terms of our concentration of hydrogen ions. That's a tenfold difference. So a tenfold difference in concentration equals to a 1 pH difference. So every pH equals to a tenfold difference in our actual hydrogen concentration. That, well, that's what this dot was all about. To identify pH as a log, minus log of the concentration of hydrogens, and explain that a, a change in pH of 1 means a tenfold change in pH. And what we also should know is we have water itself. So water is obviously neutral. So let's say water is neutral, which is right here. We might expect there to be absolutely no um, hydrogen concentration because it's neutral. But that's actually a bit wrong. In water itself, we've got H2O molecules. And those two those H2O molecules, what they can actually do is every now and then they'll bump into each other. When they bump into each other, what happens is those H2O molecules, one of those H's will go from here and be attached at the other molecule. So this first one now has an extra hydrogen, which means it's now H3O. And hopefully that's a bit familiar, because that's a hydronium ion. And obviously this one has one less, this one has one less now, so it's, it is OH minus. And this means we've got a hydroxide ion here, this is our hydroxide. And the other one is our hydronium or a hydrogen ion. And this happens in water, so if we have just water standing around, we do actually have some concentration of hydrogen ions and we have some concentration of hydroxide ions. We have both a positive and a negative ion coming as a result. So again, this might be pure water. And inside that water, most of the water will be in the form of this. So most of the most of the water we have in here will be stay as intact molecules. So you definitely don't have a full degree of ionization. Most of it will stay as your normal water molecules, but some of them will produce these here.
your hydronium and your hydroxyl ions. And there's something else which you should know, which is the water constant. Now the water constant tells you how much um, how much concentrations of hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions you can find in your normal water. And we get our water constant by timesing our concentration of hydrogen in water times the concentration of hydroxide ions in our water. And the hydrogen ions are the same as hydronium ions. And this happens to be, so the actual value happens to be, we tend to have concentration wise 10 to the power of minus 7 as a concentration in hydroxide. And also we tend to have 10 to the power of minus 7 for our hydroxide concentration. So they're both 10 to the power of minus 7. And what happens if you, if you this, let's say our hydrogen concentration, what happens if you put this value into your log, right? So you use that pH log 10 to the power of minus uh, 10 to the minus 7. If you put it into your calculator, what you actually get is you get a pH or a result of 7. Right? So you type in the concentration of normal water, type that into your into calculator, you get a pH of 7, which happens to be neutral, what we consider neutral. right? So neutral itself actually means there are still some hydrogen concentration ions in our solution. But this is the water constant, you should, so you should know the water constant, which is Kw, K with its small w, is the hydrogen concentration times the, the hydroxide concentration, and overall, so Kw, if we times both those together, we have a concentration of 10 times 10 to the power of minus 14. So our Kw is 10 to the power of minus 14. That's our Kw. But that's for the first part. Now we'll go over a couple of different uh, quick questions. So pH, what I just mentioned, pH is the minus log of hydrogen concentration. Why do we use a minus? So what does this minus do? Well, if you had a plus, so let's say you had log of 0 0.1. Problem is your result itself will actually be, so uh, sorry, log of 0 0.1 would give you a minus result. So you give a, you have a minus result if you don't have a minus in front. So if you put a, so usually you might get a, so this might give you a pH of 0 0.1 would be a pH of 2, pH of 2. Actually, it's a pH of 1. So if you type that into your calculator, you get a pH of minus 1. But if we have a minus in front, what that does is it balances out to minus times minus plus. So this will become a plus. So it'll just be a pH of 1. So we have the minus in front to make sure that we can actually have it always be positive. And that's why the minus in front. And remember, we're just looking at the so pH is the concentration of hydrogen ions. And a one, so if we go from pH 1 to pH of 2, that's a tenfold increase. We'll go over that again in a second as well. But let's go through maybe a question here. So the concentration of hydrogen ions is 1 to the power of minus 7. So 10 to the power of minus 7. What is the pH of the solution? Again, you would have your formula. So you have your minus log. And then you put the concentration in here. So you would write... 1 times 10 to the power of minus 7, or just write 10 to the power of minus 7. And that's the same as minus log and 0 0.0000060 zeros and a, a 1. If you put that into your calculator, I can't do it because my calculator isn't good enough to deal with those numbers yet. And I don't have a log calculator for my computer. But if you were to put that in your calculator, you will get a pH of 7. Next question, the concentration of hydrogen ions is 1 to the power of minus 8. What is the pH scale, what is the pH of the solution? And you've got the same formula. So you would type either log to the power of 10 to minus 8. Or, same is minus log 0, 0.0. Now you have 7 zeros, 7 zeros and a 1. If you type that in, you'll get your new pH which in this case is going to be a pH of 8. 
So you might have also noticed whatever is here, this number, it will be our pH, just it'll be, it won't be a minus, it'll be a plus. So in this case, we've gone from a zero, six zeros and a one to seven zeros and a one. The difference was a pH of one in those, so six zeros is seven, eight, seven zeros is eight. And because we have one more difference, or the one more zero, that's the same as having a tenfold increase. Right? So we have a tenfold increase. That tenfold increase changes our pH by one, which again goes back to that original point. Explain that a change in pH of one means a tenfold change in concentration of hydrogens. So in this case, we have ten times less ions in our pH of eight than in our pH of seven, but that amounts to a difference in one in, our, one in terms of our pH. I'm going to go quickly for another question as well. So the concentration of hydroxyl ions is 1 to the power of minus 10. So 10 to the power of minus 10. What is the pH of the solution? Now you should remember our equation. So the equation was Kw equals the concentration of hydrogen times the concentration of hydroxyl ions. Right? What do we have given? Well, we have the given the concentration of hydroxyl ions here. And we want the concentration of hydrogen ions. This is what we want. And we also know this as well, because I mentioned earlier, this is, so Kw is 10 to the power of minus 14. We know we don't have this yet, so we want this. We want a concentration of hydrogen ions, because that's, that's equal to our pH. We, once we have this, we can get our pH. And we have this given. So it's the concentration of hydroxyl ions is 10 to the power of minus 10. We can just rearrange that formula to get our hydrogen ion concentration. So we put the 10 to the other side by times in, by dividing both sides by 10, which means this will be gone and be at the other side. And then what, if you put that in the calculator, 10 to the power of minus 14 divided by 10 to the power of minus 10, you'll again end up with a concentration a hydrogen concentration of 10 to the power of minus 4. Now, if you put this in your log formula to get your hydrogen concentration, minus log of hydrogen concentration, because that's what we have calculated so far. We know our hydrogen concentration is 10 to the power of minus 4. If you put, instead of hydrogen concentration, you put 10 to the power of minus 4, what you end up is you end up having a pH of 4, which means if we increase, if we decrease our concentration of this, if this goes down in terms of concentration, remember minus 10 is smaller than minus 4, if this goes down, that will mean this will go up because our constant always has to be 10 to the power of minus 14. That's going to be constant, which means that if one goes up, the other one will have to be going down. Yeah. I hope that was useful. But yeah, the main crunch points, this dot point, was you should know this formula, you should know this by heart. pH equals minus log of the concentration of hydrogen ions. You should know that a change in one pH, so if we go from, let's say, from zero pH to one pH, that equals to a tenfold increase, tenfold change in hydrogen concentration. In this case, we have tenfold more hydrogen concentration in zero than we do in one. The same goes if we go from one to two. So whenever there's a change in one pH, that means there's a change in tenfold change in the hydrogen concentration. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.